Okay. I don't know if this is really different on expert or not. Malazar's inscrutable tower. Breaking the tower of the late sorcerer Malazar. Steal Malazar's crystal of power <clears throat> from where it floats conspicuously above the tower balcony. Once you have the power crystal, leave the tower and return to the city via the forest road. This is a very mi different mission, actually. More of a puzzle. Yeah, there are some Thief thief 1, Thief Gold missions. And I kind of like them in a way just because the different... The movement's a little bit different. And not just from, like, bunny hopping, but I feel almost like all of your... All the movements, like... I don't know, it just feels slightly different. Don't really know how to explain it. I've always liked this one for whatever reason. I guess I kind of like the uh, the wizard kind of theme. It's a little more fantastical. And I, I, it's kind of spoiled since I already know, st mostly remember how the, some of the solutions are to things, but Alazar. There's also, I'm sure, plenty of stuff I do not remember. I don't have lockpicks. Breaking the Malazar's Tower. I like this. It's very subtle. I don't even think I noticed, but we teleported. The tower is bigger on the inside than the outside, and some kind of magical trap has destroyed our weapons and equipment. Try to at least find a bow and a sword. If this place is larger than you're expecting. You might be able to find some additional treasure, steal 3,200 loot, Leave the tower once you've got what you came for. So yeah, it's like... Bigger on the inside. Master, the mop is being obstinate again and blocking entry into the dining hall. It has stopped responding to any command words. And I fear its personality has become quite unhinged. It just sits in the doorway waiting as if in anticipation of something. But what a mop looks forward to is beyond me. When you return, I suggest a full energy drain and re-enchantment. Your humble apprentice, Michael. I don't have any lockpicks. Harry Potter fan mission? Uh, I don't think I would say that necessarily. But not all wizard Lee things are necessarily Harry Potter, I guess. Locked. Michael, the runic power word on the seventh floor of the library is playing havoc with the translocation embers. If you need a book from the R or S stacks, you'll need to go the long way around. I would advise a spell of water breathing. As always, the ninth floor is off limits. I think this is one of the first missions I played too that had like custom, a lot of custom stuff. And it's like you can't get through this door because the mop is in the way. Because it's enchanted and being ornery.
That's that gate for the f above the fireplace. I have no lockpicks or equipment at all, so it's all... I gotta find keys and stuff. To do anything. Kills you. That's dumb. Now I'm on the other side of this wall. Michael, I broke the serpent's staff during my struggle to bind the Ifrit. Please see that it is repaired before I return. Its magic is intact, but it will not function unless it is made whole. While I am in the city, I shall drop in on Zapho and see if he has captured any of the butterflies from your list, Malazar. I think there might be a... yeah, there is bow and like an unlimited number of arrows. <clears throat> Some of this stuff, this stuff is what kind of creeps me out. Is that grab a key? I'm pretty gosh dang sure these statues do that. Move when you're not looking at him. <gasps> oh. oh! Oh! I guess I gotta go this way. Run! The old snake head. Yeah, the, yeah, they're like the the statue, angel statues, or whatever. From or wait, I'm supposed to do this, aren't I? Factor who? <laughs> it's coming. I hear it. It's weird sometimes you can catch them moving because, like, if you're in a weird spot where it doesn't know that you can see them, occasionally you'll see them move <sighs> I could probably get down without hurting myself now this Michael I trust you to manage the place while I'm away good luck with the spell I have set you be careful if you have need to venture into one of the more dangerous rooms, and do try not to rile up the statues. Should you need it, the library key is in the woodpile, Malazar. Here's the staff. I always like this too, because it's like, yes, they have like the magical kind of stuff, but they also have like, just metal and gears. <laughs> Still got their steampunk stuff. There you go. Batch 37. 
Some signs of infusion with the elemental energy, but nothing visible beyond the trace aura. Batch 38. Oversaturated with negative plane energy. Quite poisonous to both body and soul. Batch 39. Successful infusion of elemental energy and replication of bioluminescence. Batch 40. Successful application of alchemical principles to the mixture. I have grown solid gold mushrooms. For the next batch, I shall attempt to extract the essence of supernatural growth from the magic beans I acquired last month. With any luck, I can grow solid gold mushrooms to ten times the size in a fraction of the time. Super creepy and makes you genuinely feel butterflies in your stomach. Yeah, I really like when people make a good use, like, the, the environment, the atmosphere, as well as the sound design adds a lot. And when they have it all in good combination, it's like... It, they, it's very easy to make like some very unsettling sort of things and there's something about that like that industrial kind of rattling of gears and stuff like that is always kind of strange there's one fan mission that I never could figure out what to do to, to actually like complete it but there was It was like you're almost like trapped. I don't know how else to describe it. Then to say you were trapped in like this industrial kind of like hell. And it was almost like a maze kind of thing. You like navigating around these weird metal areas. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called, but... I guess I need the staff... first, but I think this is where you repair it. There's your ape beast... buddy. Out of glue. Master left. He's gone into the city and left me with a spell to decipher. I have examined it from every conceivable angle, but I can see no way to proceed without the power crystal atop the tower. Malazar warned of dangers throughout the tower, but he did not explicitly prohibit the crystal's use. Clearly, this is a test. Why else would he have dismantled the golem? The limbs he has scattered about the tower, but the head is bound to the ifrit in the fire chamber. A daunting prospect, even with the master's supervision. That's right. There's like a golem you can reassemble. You find all the pieces. And this is the apprentice's room, I guess. Water arrow. Two water arrows. So we got the glue, we need a staff, we can put it all together. Let me save. Healing. Golem diagram. This is just telling you what the different things are, I guess. Which means nothing until you come across them, I guess. This is the golem room, though. We see the lava. Or the, not the golem room, but the ifrit room. Stuck. Weird eel thing, whatever they're called. I was gonna say a slaughter fish. Serpent passage. Fuck! 
<laughs> Snuck up on me. I knew it was there, but I didn't think it was gonna move. I think I wanna go out here. Oh wait, I could reach the staff. Now if I get back up. I can do this. But glue. Oh wait, no, this is the end of the glue. I didn't see those coins there either. I did not expect that. I didn't think they could come in there. Honestly. I thought when I put the head on there, it hit me. There he is. Blue snake head. Now I have the snake staff, so I could go through the serpent door, I think. Which was on uh, down here, but which side was it on? Do I have a limited number of beans? I don't really need to, but I think I could grow beans and pots of dirt like that. Ah. There, I just teleported, I think. They do a pretty good job of hiding it. Oh yeah, I remember this part. This is one of the places where there's a Body part. I don't have a key. I don't have a map either. I don't remember seeing this map. That's cool. Um. That didn't work. You're supposed to land in the water. <laughs> now we're up here again. So, I always thought that was cool. We fell all the way down there. But if we walk through this door, now we're here, down below, and it's more fancy teleportation tricks. Ring of dispelling. Too bad that the ring doesn't take out these guys. Oh yeah, and then if you look down. There it is again. It's like an infinite loop. I know I got this statue trapped in the water one time. Go for a swim. I think where I gotta go now. 
I've got the staff. Oh, there's the door. This door. Grab the staff. Through this window. Can't open that door yet, but. Cool clock. We can go this way. Fire chamber must be considered off limits until I return. The Ifrit. I have bound using the golem's head is exceptionally powerful, none too pleased about being tethered to this plane. It is beyond your skill to weave protective spells at the requisite strength, and I fear it would incinerate you, Nalazar. Visibility potion. Watch out, everybody. Ugh. I like... There's the apprentice. He didn't quite survive. Kitchen key. I like the implication though that like he's got this little gazebo out here. And it's like he must just come just sit here and hang out as the thing throws fire at him because he's powerful enough just to like not have it hurt him. Did I not go here right now? I'm sure I do come here, but maybe I have to do something else first. Like go into the kitchen with this new key I got. Where's the wood? Right here. Library key in the wood pile. N. one. Make sure I'm not missing anything. G H I. That's cool looking. And nothing? Death. Watering key. Oh, yeah, here we are. Now 
we gotta go here. My one complaint about this mission is this gosh dang ladder. It sucks. Get back down. Bridge water tanks. Die. Oh. There. That works. So we poured water on the fire elemental thing. We uh, turned into a golem head. Now what do we do? We got a eye watering key. We never did go up in the library. Can I just go back this way? We never found, there's still a gear, a gear key somewhere that we can find. There we go, yeah, let's go this way. And we'll go up to D, F, G, H, I, G, K, L, M, N. This is where we started. L, M, N, O, P, Q. Busted one. Where did it send me? The T. Straight to, <clears throat> straight to T. I got a gear gem. That wasn't a gem. Or a gear key though. Lose weight quick with the new magma diet. Hmm. Sounds promising. You'll never be hotter. Hot for the rest of your life, maybe. Something like that. I don't know for sure. I want to go to MN, right? Then I'm here. I can't go through there yet. I don't think I, I don't have a. I grabbed this, but that's not a key. I guess I'll take a look. Look, okay, actually, I want to go. I'd want to go a different way either way. I watering. What is this place? It's Malazar's inscrutable tower. Famous wizard extraordinaire. Eye watering. Where do I need to go next? Where was there a door? 
anything we haven't been to. Now we came into this tiny little tower. And then when we got in, it was bigger on the inside. You can't cheese this and do something like this, can I? I maybe could with the right set of circumstances, but kind of goes against the point of the mission. Eye watering key. door or something somewhere that I can't remember where it is. A hey, fire. Thanks for lurking. Hope you're doing well. I don't think it was back there. <sighs> That's where I just was. Snake door, which we went through. The serpent passage. That just takes you here. There must be a door that I'm forgetting. It's not this. Either that or the, the cog wheel. I need that cog B. E. I just, uh. Oh shit. There's gotta be a door I'm forgetting about, though. Or a path, or something I haven't looked at. I was thinking that... Maybe I should look in the library one more time. Did I miss something? Because I feel like I... The only thing I can think I gotta do next is to move... Get this thing to move. I thought I thoroughly explored all this, though. Like, this wasn't a... I picked up a gear. That's what's confusing me, is I picked up a gear, but it's not the key? I'm, I'm honestly half tempted to 
to load a save. But that wouldn't make any difference. that up so maybe I did miss something. This goes here. Then I came back through here. This is where I got the key. I feel like that gear was supposed to be there. I'm so confused. it up because I really am kind of stumped on what I'm supposed to be doing right now. There's no doors that I haven't already opened. <sighs> That's the mushrooms. It just adds in general I do not like and it annoys me that you have it's like mandatory <sighs> unless you're subscribed and like I don't I don't expect or want people to subscribe <laughs> I just want them to be able to watch and not have to deal with that crap I might have to look it up, honestly, because I, I feel like I'm clearly missing something. And I don't have an unlimited amount of time to just figure it out. Yeah, I've had that happen too, where like, uh, I'm not even like trying to block an ad, but like it doesn't work right, and then it forces you to not be able to view something or like. It'll try to play an ad and then just like freeze forever or something like that. That I also dislike. Uh, sometimes I want to just go to a stream and see what's going on. Before I decide if I'm going to stay there or not. But then it makes me try to watch like 60 seconds of ads or whatever. And it's like, what the? Just let me. Let me watch for 30 seconds to decide if I even want to stick around. Then you can play me an ad. I don't want to watch two to three ads of random crap that I don't care about just to know that I don't want to watch the stream anyway. Mauser's Inscrutable Tower. I just want to figure out
where that metal gear is. Gold snake's head did that. Woman statue hit the lock with an arrow to the open the window. Jump to the window. Pick up the metal gear from the metal case near the metal pipes. Like. I think it means... <gasps> on this other side. I thought I was fairly thorough. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Whatever. This too, it spills. Oh shit. <clears throat> I didn't mean to fall like that. It spills some stuff and then the mop wants to come over and clean it up. And that's how you get it to move. I feel like that weeping... Jesus. Is this the eye-watering door? No. Manual. Zertan's Golemic Principles. Did that statue? Yes. Simply creating the form out of clay is not enough. The body parts must be constructed separately from raw clay interwoven with the maker's commands of obedience, then fused in a spirit forge, an arcane machine the construction of which I shall explain in a later chapter. The heat generated by the spirit forge can be intense, and it is preferable to construct it in a cold environment. Once the body is complete in form, an experienced practitioner of magic schools should be able to discern the flow of spiritual energy held in potentia in the raw clay. But another step yet remains. The golem lacks the spark of motivation that animates all life. Since it is not alive and has no soul to speak of, a substitute must be used. The runic power word for awaken must be inserted into the raw clay as a brain is inserted into a man upon his conception. Only then will the golem come to, for want of a better word, life. Yeah, that's actually kind of like a scary part of this that they move like they do. And they will knock the snot out of you if you let them. It's always creepy because it's like, okay, I'll just close the door. Oh, is he not going to do it? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> okay, well, I got a sword. That's the eye watering. You do it.
this is my a sword. Ha 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 ha. I always thought this part was very trippy. Get more teleportation tricks. You're sort of in this like... What's this guy's name? Escher. Maybe that's his name, kind of non-Euclidean thing. You have to get right there. There's the arm. One of the arms. But like we're facing the wrong direction, so you have to like find a way to travel through the room and then we come back and we're in the same room or in like a different orientation. So now all the stairways are different directions. There's that door again, but it's over there. And the only way I figured to do it is you can kind of just follow where those gems are on the ceiling for you. Which makes me wonder what's over this way, if I were to go this way. Oh, that's where I came from, kind of. Well, no, it's not, because I came from below. I don't know. Either way, I think I want to go this way. Walking on the ceiling. We are relative to that thing. Right there. I think I'll go this way. Over the grinding, horrifying gears. Yeah, here we go. I'm curious. Oh. Does it just force me to die? Because it's not the way I'm supposed to go? Kind of seems that way, because I don't think I should get hurt that much from falling that far, but whatever. We got an arm, we got a head. Now we're in... One of the inaccessible library areas. The, uh, wise. Blank parchment. I think we need that. We're casting a spell or something. I want to go this way or Oof, I think I want to go over here first. Beware if thou art one with a greedy heart, for death awaits you while you bear the horn of winter. The horn of winter. I thought this was cool. If you try to go anywhere with it, you die in this mist. But there's an open window here. Because it goes away if you're not holding it. And so now, way down at the bottom, that looks really cool, by the way. I almost want to make a marker for that. That looks like a good uh, thumbnail to me. But once we get all the way back down there, we can pick it up safely. I always thought that was a kind of a clever thing to do. Man mode and jump it, I'm sure. I really like this mission. I, I've played it multiple times because it's just fun. It's very different from other missions. You're not really like leaving and stealing. It's more just like traversing this place and figuring out the puzzle of it more than anything. Okay. 
There's no guards, there's just like the statues, there's no doors to pick, just like finding the key <sighs> or path you need to go to progress. <sighs> so that's a cool idea. Breath potion. This is This is something I didn't understand what to do the first time. I figured out you could plant the seed, but then what do you what do you do? Well you gotta water it. And I screwed up. Apparently I missed it. Whoa. So another another instance of Making sure you save your water arrows, because I don't know if you get any other ones. Oh yeah, and there's the lake. I didn't even remember what was up here. So, I think this is where we are right now. There, there, there. So we have... Two arms and two legs, right? We have... A head, a leg two arms, I think. Wish they were right next to each other. Head, leg, arm. No, that's it. Oh! I'm gonna jump in the water, I think, <clears throat> so I don't... Can I pull this off? Nope. I hit the wood. Oh, I know I can do that. I just did not jump so far. That works. The lingering spiritual energy of the forest people saturates this clade of ruins. The walls between worlds are thin here. No wonder Malazar transmuted it into a power focus for the tower. He says he finds it rela a relaxing place. But it fills me with great unease, knowing what happened here so long ago. That's the way we gotta go. But there's stuff to explore. And yeah, just like the... I suppose there is more water arrows here. Just the environmental storytelling stuff too. And the little notes like... You see all these... Rusted swords and ruins, and he mentions something happened here long ago. Speaking of statues, I don't have that horn. Uh, garden as a horn door. I remember you need to blow that horn to open these doors, and I know <sighs> two of them are. I don't have any rope arrows. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get up here. There's like a preferred way. But I know you can do this, but it's, a, it's one of these pain in the ass jumps. I guess maybe you're supposed to climb up and then across there or something, or... Come on. That was uh, just a bad jump. This is when I wish I had the half-life, or not half-life one, beef one. Bunny hopping. Well, they, 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 I guess they do have bunny hopping and half-life. <laughs> Hall of Ashen Souls Key. Breath potion. <sighs> Swimming's always kind of weird in this game, too. Sometimes it almost is like there's like a, a 
current pushing against you. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Uh. This is the rune. So you have to put on a piece of paper. Boom. Word of awakening. Now I think we can safely go through a portal. We want to go down. And then... J, K, J, H, D, F, B, C. There's the horn. So, if I go back to the door with the pit, which is side of here. And there. You're in the way. the arm. Oh yeah, I suppose we got to this room, but we never came in, never collected a body part, so. Now, I gotta get back to that garden kind of area, which You know I'm here? <gasps> Can I get out through this other... Over here? Where's this taking me again? I don't even remember. I get back to that spot. Jesus Christ. <sighs> it's always a little spooky. Do I have to go through the library again? See, here's the thing. I, I can. Did I find another key? Somewhere? Ashen Souls. There we go. Okay. Now we're back. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Just wanted to look over here. There we go. 
always thought this was kind of interesting. They said you have to do this in some place cool because it gets really hot. Arm. Head. Leg. Arm. Live. Now they're going to go do their thing. Swagger. Yeah, the jumping puzzle kind of thing. And these ice elementals that chase after you. Be a little annoying. Is there anything over here? Some gems. Look at this way. I wanted him to step on this. Conspicuously different colored platform. Oh! Oh! Guy up there fell down. Oh! <laughs> They're still alive down there. That's funny. I don't remember what's in here. Just money? Fire arrow. Yeah, like at least they make it stand out, but if you didn't know what you're looking for, you just fall to your death. I was about to say, can you even stand on it for a second? Can you shoot it? No. Does it even kill him? <sighs> They're not just like stunned or something. I guess he's dead. Is that all the loot? 3200 loot? This is this is way back here. So like a portal 
to this place has been here this entire time. <laughs> see where it teleports. You look at the fire especially. It's actually an identical room with identical lighting. The animation on the fires is going to be different. Interesting that it's, I suppose the same switch could Make both ropes come down. Ah. Huh. Why did the game antechamber? I, I played a little bit of that, but I never beat it. It had if we had interesting ideas with like the way areas are connected and stuff like that though. Now that you're in here, I kinda like that this is his little Secret. You're coming in here? Oh my god. Here I thought I would enjoy the luxuries of this guy's home. I should have saved the fire over here. He's got a cool house, man. Creepy. There's a, I'd have to remember what it's called. It's not an extremely long mission, but it's, it's a thief fan mission where they've got portals and I have no idea how they did it in like the fucking editor and stuff. Like I'd have to look up what the heck that was called, but it was pretty dang amazingly done. I bound in Ifrit. It took most of my strength to stabilize and tether it to this plane, but it is done. Soon I shall have its power distilled into my own power crystal. Then I shall command all the power of the plane of fire. The witless fools of the mage's council will beg for death before I grant them merciful incineration. But first, I need supplies. Venturing into the city is a risky venture, the one I must take. Vengeance will be mine. I have set Michael a spell of entropy to decipher while I make the journey. The boy is slow, and I doubt he will have any luck with it, but I must be patient with him. And here we are. We climb up. Now we're back. At the beginning of the map. In the tiny tower. If only we could have just climbed up the outside. We could have avoided all of that. Objective complete. The crystal of power. Ah! There you go. You gotta put the vine down first. You can't even tell that even if you had an arrow to use, it's like impossible to see that you could have used it there. There we are.
The statue's chasing after us. Malazar's inscrutable tower. Tons of loot we didn't find. But yeah. I really like that one. 